This morning, we're out in Powell, Ohio, doing downspout to drain repairs, sump pump to drain repairs, and drain tile repairs in the yard. Well, look at this one. Sump pump discharge, inch and a half, going to three inch, though well, that's fine. Coming down to three inches there at the 90, three inches going over here to the corner, but look what they did. They went back to one and a half inch drain line, PVC schedule 40, and they simply drilled into the side of the downspout drain and pushed the pipe into it. Totally unsatisfactory. It works, but it creates problems. One, whenever the sump pump discharge or the pump is turned on, water spits out at all of these connections, the three inch connections. The reason why is because the line gets restricted down to inch and a half right here. And secondly, the water spitting into the drain tile through the hole that they put into the side of the pipe and then it's spitting out of the top of this downspout drain. There's so much pressure. This must be a half horsepower pump in the basement. We're going to correct these problems here today. Stick with us and we'll show you how. All right, after you've cleared uh, the area of all the soil, you want to make it to where you can get your sawzall in there because you're going to rebuild this stack. And to solve the splash out from uh, the sump pump into the downspout and out, you want to use a Y connection, just like that. So you want to cut that so you can place that on top of uh, your drain tile pipe, and we'll go from there. All kinds of things on these larger homes. There's an electric line coming around. Got sprinklers. Lots of things to look out for, so dig carefully. Once you've cut your stack on the drain tile, you can go ahead and dry fit. In other words, don't use glue yet, but just dry fit all your parts together because this is going to be a tight fit. There will be some pieces you can glue in there. I'm using Ote heavy duty cement glue. So I've got a, a Y that I put onto the drain tile and then a small piece of drain tile between the couplings and I'm going to put another small piece of drain tile right here between this 45 and a 90 going over towards the sump pump. So everything is glued except for the Y that's on the drain tile stack so that I can move this entire system piece to align up to 
the sump pump discharge. Let's cut another piece. All right, I've cut a piece to go from my 90 to another 90 coming up to the sump pump. And you want to make sure that that 90 is directly underneath of all your fittings that you're going to have coming off the sump pump discharge. This looks like it's the proper length. I'm going to go ahead and glue this up. And then we'll cut our last piece. And I'm going to talk about uh, the adapters just a little bit. I've cut a piece of pipe to length, <clears throat> the proper length here, uh, for installation from the sump pump discharge down to the drain tile. I'm going to talk about these adapters just a little bit. This is a 4x3 reducer, and this is a 1.5 to 3 inch donut. Uh, normally there's a lip right here, but I've cut that off so that this donut can slip up and down the pipe. This is great for adjustments as well as if there's any settling uh, after installation this will move up and down with the settling and you won't have any separation in the pipe. Let's put this together. Once you've inserted the pipe into the 4x3 coupling, you can now tackle the sump pump discharge to drain repairs. Originally, all of the sump pump discharge couplings failed from the discharge of the 90 degree elbow on. All I could do was save that 90 degree elbow because it's cut in too close to the wall to replace it. So for this particular repair I've used a two by one and a half inch no hub plus a one and a half inch extension piece of PVC pipe. This is the only way to make a quality repair without rebuilding from the inside of the wall out. Once again, this is a nice reason to have an adjustable donut. That's looking pretty good. We'll get that all tightened up. So I'm just going to backfill here, be able to push this pipe up over top of that donut. And once again, that's all adjustable. So that if it ever does sink, for whatever reason, uh, this donut, there will be no separation. This is perfect. Ideal for sump pump to drain. All, all pieces are glued, with the exception of the downspout adapter. In case there's ever a stuffed downspout, for whatever reason, you can take that all apart get down into the drain tile or to give it a clean with a machine. All these pieces are glued with the exception of the donut so that it can slide up and down for adjustment. That's all watertight. Looks good. Just need to cover it up. I'm Chris with Atlantic Drain. Remember it's easy, once you know how.
started to sing. 